from the lush green lands to the cascading waterfalls. Wonders of the world, the oldest habitat of territories on earth, a rich cultural heritage, a continent of 1.1 billion people, second largest and most populous, a continent pregnant with possibilities, home for 30% of its mineral resources, 50% of its people under 25 years, Africa, the land of the great, our spirit resilient, our enterprise profitable, our future inspiring. Africa is inspiring. Be inspired. Today I would like to talk about diligence. Diligence is making efforts to accomplish something. Being attentive and being focused. I'm not an English major and I feel I will be able to explain this better with a short story, true life story. I went through school, primary school and secondary school without any problems. I had very good grades. And then I was admitted into the university and that's where it all started. Maybe because I entered ahead of many of my friends, my peers, I had challenges when I got to the university. I guess it was my fault because I became very playful. Most of my friends were in high school and I was admitted into what you call in those days prelim. I started running after what I'm not supposed to, apart from my studies. I came back to my senses, but maybe it was too late. I had to repeat the class. And I, by the time I was repeating the class, I seemed to have lost focus. After two years, I was advised to leave the particular university and so I went to another one up north. And on getting there, I tried my best. I, I worked hard. I was diligent, I would say, as that word implies. But it still did not give me the desired effect. I had to leave that university again and go to the third one. It was at the third one that I finally graduated. I graduated with a bachelor's in physics. 11 years after I was admitted into the university. Why am I telling you this? At the time, I was impressed to give up. Many thoughts came to my mind when I looked at my friends who had progressed. Those who were not admitted to university the year I was, came, who were mates, and then the past. And then I felt like giving up. I felt that, look, life is not what it seems to be. But at the back of my mind, my father kept on encouraging me that whatever you do in life, do not give up. Things might be rough. You may not get it at the right time. You may not even get it eventually, but don't give up on your dream. And that's what I understand diligence to mean. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. Failure does not mean repeating a class. Neither does failure mean that you have not accomplished what you have set out and you get it at the right time. Those are not meanings and examples of failure. Failure is giving up. Failure is not getting where you desire to be. When I look at myself today, I'm so happy with my life. I seem to have lost many years, but at the same time, I have gained all those years. Because the work that I now do, I love it so much because I'm serving humanity. And there's nothing I will have enjoyed much better than that. When I finished eventually, and a lot of people were asking me, so what next? One of my lecturers advised me to proceed and do masters, but I wasn't interested. My mind was away from that course. I was, I had made up my mind that this is what I want out of life. And that's what I'm doing. And that's why at the beginning I introduced myself as working in two places. Now one is a non-governmental organization and the other one too is more or less the same thing because it's like an umbrella organization of all NGOs in the country, I would say. Because no matter what you're doing, 
in a non-profit organization, ultimately what you want to achieve is to serve. There are different ways in which you're serving. There are many thematic areas that people work on, but ultimately it is to serve. And today I'm serving and I'm enjoying it. Why am I enjoying it? Because when I set out, I find people who are not happy. I find people who desire to live a better life and they are handicapped. They are not able to achieve this for various reasons. At times it could be a matter of advocacy, meeting with the authorities and in their behalf asking the authorities to do what is right as government in different levels. It could be the community, it could be local government, it could be state, it could be the federal. And asking them to do what is right, that the people might be able to get what they deserve in life. It gives me joy. Many times, some of them might be crying. My focus actually has been on the prison. I worked a lot in the Nigerian prisons, and I've seen many people cry, tears. They are happy because they found a friend who could visit, who could talk, who could champion their causes. Now, there are many people in prison who actually deserve to be there. But why do people go to prison? They go there because they want to be reformed. They have erred, they have made a mistake. But many times, they are not being reformed, they are being punished. And when they find a friend who could speak with them, they are very happy, and I'm very happy too. I go back home, and I tell myself, perhaps here's another person who, because I'm his friend, will not go back into crime. Because I'm his friend, he will live a better life. And I have been diligent in that. I have not given up. I have my mind focused that that is what I want, to make people happy. And so that's why today I'm very happy. And that's why I'm also asking you to be happy. Be happy. <laughs>